What's up everybody? How's it going? Brandon here for Pacific Northwest Photography and Film. What's up everybody? How's it going? Uh, today I'll be going over contracts with you guys. So, I can't stress enough about this. Be as specific as possible for contracts. Always have a contract, no matter who it is, no matter what it's for. Always have a contract. Like, I cannot stress to you enough about this. And always, like, before you do the event, have a contract. If they say, oh, I'm, like, I'm your sister, I'm your brother, I'm your aunt, I'm your uncle, I'm, I used to babysit for you. Uh... I used to, like, we used to be on the baseball team together. We used to be on a soccer game together. Oh, I'm, like, I'm, I'm already, pub I'm a published model. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I know it sounds mean, but I don't care if you're any one of those things. I do care. Like, okay, congratulations, you're uh, a published model. You're an aunt, you're an uncle. Like, we, lo we all love you. We all love our family. We all love our friends, and uh, and then we all all love those new clients that come in. Uh, but for me, it doesn't like I don't care if like who like it could be any of those people. I still want a contract no matter what, because in the long run, if something does happen, then it could turn out to be very very bad. So today I'll be going over a couple things with you guys of how I like to do my contracts. So uh, one of the things is I like to be as specific as possible. So if it's like for a wedding, I'd like to go uh, go and meet with them, uh, the client uh, and the families. And I, this is just a time to like take notes uh, of like when the wedding's going to be or when the event's going to be. Uh, like what to expect during the event, uh, when to show up for the event, like times, like okay, so like it's a wedding, so the wedding's gonna be from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, the ceremony is gonna be for an hour, so the ceremony is gonna be like from 1 to 1:50 or 1 to 2 if it's gonna be an hour long, and then uh, the reception is gonna be the rest of the night with like dancing and we're going to have speakers and then keynotes and and whatnot so you want to try and get as much information as you possibly can about all of that stuff um that way uh when you go and do your contract that way you can specify what you're like what you're what you have been contracted out to do what you guys talked about during during that meeting so, like, uh, in my contract, I like to put uh, uh, when I'm going to be showing up, like, when, like, what your money is going towards. So, like, I'm going to be showing up from, so if the wedding is from 1 to 9, I'm going to show up at, like, 1230. <coughs> um, and so then you want to put on the contract, the time of date um, of the event. So if it's, like, a wedding time of date um if you're going to do a first look of the bride and groom uh if you're going to do uh like an engagement session before all that so that way they can send out all their invites um or if it's like a sports game so are you going to just do like the sports game and just pack up and leave or are you going to try and like get there before the game and then like do like interviews, get the some of the practice in, and then, and then are you gonna stay afterwards for the celebrations, um, for like a thirty minute or one hour session? Are you going like how many locations are you gonna do? Or is there gonna be like a clothing change? Uh, are you gonna do like <coughs> uh, individual shots? Are you gonna do group shots? Like make sure you put that in your contract. And then, uh, so also in your contract, make sure you put in the number of edits you're going to be doing. So let's say like for a one hour session, I usually like to do like 30 edits. So I like to put in that, that into my contract of, oh, hey, like we're going to show up from one to two. I want to do 30 edits for you. And then 
I will have a turnaround time of the edits for the photos within one week or two weeks, depending on if I have other photo shoots, if I have to attend my regular job, or if not, if I don't have a regular job and this is my full-time job, then it'll probably be less than that because I don't have any other, like anything, any other thing that I need to do at that time, unless I have previous photo shoots or filming that I've done, then those will take precedence over that. And then, so I'll be like, hey, look, I've got other photo shoots I'm, uh, I'm working on right now. I should be almost done with those. So uh, as soon as I get those done, then I'll, then I'll be getting to yours. So with, that should be in the next like two to three weeks. So I know weddings are gonna be more because like with weddings, uh, like you, if, like I just got hired on for next year to do a wedding and or I guess this year since it's 2023 uh, I got hired on to do filming and photography so for me like I told him like it's going to be about one to two months before I can get to like finishing up your guys's stuff and I always get the question well why like why is it going to take so long why can't you just have it done within like a couple of days or within a week like well I've got my regular job, like photography isn't my full-time job right now. So I've got my regular job that I gotta do and then editing uh, film, that takes a lot of time. You gotta trim everything up, color correction. You've got, gotta make sure like everything's like in sync and then you gotta download music and then make sure everything syncs up and then make sure all your videos are in the right sequence uh, it's just a lot of effort for the, for filming. Uh, photography is a little bit easier, but it still does take a lot of time because you got like for weddings for me at least I'm kind of trigger happy and I will go through like hundreds if not thousands of photos just to make sure that like oh hey I didn't get your eyes closed you you were squinting at the time of this photo so we're gonna take several photos. Uh, in sequence as fast, like, as just, brrr, just shoot and go. But it's like, I will try and set up, like, the best shoot I can for you, make sure I get the best pictures I can, but there will be a lot of photos to go through. Uh, especially, like, with kids, because ki you know how kids are. They get squirmy. They don't want to stand still. They don't want to sit still. They, like, they're tired. They're whatever. Kids will be kids. And so then kids like will blink at different times or adults will blink at different times, whatever. So you will have a lot of photos. So <laughs> there's all that to go through. Um, also in my contract, I like to put uh, for like a, if I'm doing like a one hour shoot or a family shoot, a 30 minute session, whatever, uh, I will put in two of those contracts that a legal guardian or like mainly a parent has to show up no matter what. I've had photo shoots in the past where uh, the parents will just show up with the kid, drop the kid off and say, here you go. No, like for me, that's like a huge thing is a parent has to show up um, no matter what. Uh, it's just to safeguard uh, myself and like anything else because who knows nowadays because kids will say things or parents will say something or I saw this, I saw that. It's like, no, you didn't see that because you weren't here. You took off. So, I, uh, it, like, it's mainly just to protect myself for anything uh, whatsoever because, you know, like nowadays people can and will say anything just to get something out of you if they're having a hard day or whatever so but once you get that uh, contract all typed up go through it uh, make sure that uh, you've got every specific little thing in there make sure you don't have any loopholes whatsoever in there as well loopholes could really throw you off can throw the the clients off the client or clients off as well so and they can come around and be like, hey, you uh, you didn't put any edits on there. So uh, we expect at least 500 from this wedding. 
It's like, uh, no, that's not what we agreed on. But the, the client will be like, I don't care. You didn't specify it, so we want 500 from you when you said that you'd put, do like 200 edits or whatever. So be very, very careful with that. Just make sure that you have specifics in there um, so that way they don't have a loophole in there. Um, let's see, I'm going through my notes really quick, sorry. Um, so yeah, once you uh, get that contract all written up, like you can give it to your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, parent, whatever. Have them like look through it and be like for like spelling errors. Make sure everything's crystal clear to them. Like have them understand it. Like okay, like I don't like. Well, what about this part? What about that part? Oh no. Okay, cool. Like it make it all makes sense to me. All right, cool. So then that's when you can send it off to the client and then <coughs> or sit down with the client, go over the contract. Make sure you specify everything with them. From the first page to the last page. Have them sign it, have them date it. And then as soon as you get home, like make a copy of that and send it off to them. You can email them uh, like a copy of it. That'll probably be like your lifesaver right there. Especially for like big events, like for sporting games, uh, for weddings, for... Uh, I don't know, whatever. Um, th that way, if the client or the mom, the, like the bride of the mom, the, the groom of the, the parents of the groom or whatever, says, hey, like you, like I need this. And you can be like, sorry, that's not part of our contract. Like you need, to, and then like, oh, yes, it is. It's like, here, like remember, here's, here's the contract. Like, like I sent this copy to you in the email you signed it see look here's your here's your signature like you signed it you agreed to all these terms i know a lot of times like uh people will turn around and be like hey like i didn't mean to sign that like can we change it so but if like they so if they decide to change it before before the event uh like i would just be like hey like if you guys have like if you guys like it, sign it. Okay, cool. You signed it. If you guys, and then if they, then just let them know. Like, hey, look. If you guys have any questions, concerns, want to change anything, uh, let's try and change it. Like within, uh, I like I would like to change it. Bef like at least two, two weeks to a month before the event. <clears throat> that way, you can both have time to be able to sign it, go over the, the new contract, write it, write up a new contract, sign it, everybody's going to be happy about it, and then be like, just done. That way there's no concerns, if ands, or buts, and be like, hey, like, he said, she said stuff. No, like, that way it's on paperwork, you both signed it, and you guys are protecting yourselves from, from whatever. So, and then... <coughs> And then just make sure you sign it and have it. And then that way you can, if they there's any concerns or whatever during the event, you can just say, hey, you guys signed it. So, oh yeah, one other thing before we end this video. Make sure you get a some form of deposit. Uh, that is the biggest, biggest, biggest thing in there as well. Probably like one of the biggest, if not the biggest thing for the contract. Um, have, I usually like to try and do at least half or at least 50% down payment for the event. So it, let's say the event is $2,000. I would like to get a 50% uh, down payment, not non-refundable down, well, I shouldn't say non-refundable. Some people like to do non-refundables. Um, if so something happens to like uh, someone in the family, like there's a death or whatever, then they have to postpone the, the, like the, the wedding, the event, the whatever. Um, uh, then you can do that and then still have the down payment and then still do the event. Other times, uh, people are like, okay, they're like, th they broke off the, the wedding. So the wedding is not going to happen. So for me, I like to go, all right, so 50%, uh, down payment and then, I uh, if like something does happen, like 
the wedding doesn't happen anymore. Half of that, uh, so half of the, so 50% of that down payment, which is $1,000, if it's at like a $2,000, like let's say a wedding. So you get that $1,000 down payment. I like to put it into my uh, contract. I uh, Half of that down payment is non-refundable. So that $500 from the 1000 you just put down on the down payment, you don't get that back because that you are securing my time, my efforts uh, in telling other people, sorry, I can't uh, do your event on that day because you are securing your spot for like April 30th or whatever or whatever the date might be. You are securing that spot. Because if they cancel and you already had five other uh, requests for that day that had the same amount of money, if not more, then you've lost out on $2,000 plus or whatever. So it's always a good thing to put that into your contract. But other than that, I think I've covered just about everything uh, in there. Oh, except for one thing, I guess. One more thing. So, what to expect? That's another big thing to put into your contract. Uh, I guess I've already kind of covered it a little bit. So, like the number of edits you're gonna do, <clears throat> uh, how if you're gonna do a montage, if you're gonna do any sorts of prints, like for albums, uh, for like weddings, I like to try and do like a surprise thing. Be like, hey, like. I know we didn't put in the contract, but you know what? Surprise, like, here's a two and a half by a four foot metal, excuse me, a metal print of, like, an engagement photo of you guys uh, that you guys thought was, like, your, that was your favorite photo out of the engagement session, out of the wedding, out of the one hour photo session, out of whatever. And then... <coughs> And then make sure you talk to the to the people, especially if you're going to be doing like a wedding. Okay, so like for me, if I'm doing uh, photos as well as filming it, because um, I am a one man band for my business, unless I try and hire out, which I hardly ever do, if not ever. And then I'll say, okay, in the contract, uh, you want filming and photos. Okay. What do you want first? Do you want the montage first? Do you want a, the film to be first? Or do you want the photos to be first? Okay, you want this to be first? Okay, what do you want second? And what do you want third? Okay, just to let you know that you're gonna, uh, you, you will see this, all these things in this order. So, and I will have them to you as soon as I can. And I will send it through Dropbox, USB, uh, Google Photos, uh, through my website, through XYZ. So, it's always good to let them know as well in the contract. So, I believe I've covered everything this time now. <laughs> but yeah, just be specific in your contracts and make sure that it's there are no loopholes whatsoever. So that way your client does not come back and go, gotcha. So that is it for me for today. Hope you guys are having a wonderful new year. You guys are staying safe and you guys are in good health. Until next time, 